Well, I'm sitting out here this morning before I get started uh, working on Subzilla. Thought I'd just do a quick video of some, some thoughts I'm having. All this under here. See how that looks kind of yucky? Carburetory looking. The old crusty looking air cleaner on there. It works, right? 800 CFM Quadrajet and it will work it'll do its job but it doesn't get that good gas well it actually does pretty good gas mileage too to be honest with you but i'm thinking why not put a fuel injection on here something i've been wanting to do um edelbrock pro flow 4 is what i'm thinking so i got all this fancy stuff up here the way this is all bolted in so all that works pretty good. I was thinking about getting a real nice uh, serpentine belt system, but actually this, I mean, this works pretty good. It's not a problem. I want to get rid of the electric fan or the, the flex fan down there and put in an electric fan. So this can go, uh, the fan of course will go and it'll be, you know, it's not a whole bunch of room in there. It'd be pretty tight. The electric fans are going to stick out about as far as that does anyway. So it'll still be pretty tight in there. Uh, Cause I, this is a huge four core radiator. It's, it's got lots of, Lots of fluid in it. Uh, I already got the good spark plugs. I got the ceramic, you know. Yeah. Can't. You can hear that? So people understand that's ceramic. Somebody asked me that the other day. Those are good. Also been thinking about upgrading the steering. So let's come down here and look. Got the Dana 44 in there, 10 bolt. Needs a new steering stabilizer. I was thinking about doing crossover steering to get rid of that big funky six inch drop, whatever that's, it needs It needs to be replaced anyway. But I gotta put a new steering knuckle on and all that stuff on this side because that's not one you can't be machining or anything. So that's gotta come off, gotta put a new steering knuckle. So there's one project and you put in a new two wheel drive steering box and then a crossover steering. I thought about doing the high steer um, which I still could, uh, but then I gotta, I gotta get rid of the sway bar or get a different style. This one's got the drop sway bar. I put a drop kit on it to lower it down for the six inch lift. Need shocks still, of course. <laughs> but they're still, uh, <laughs> you know, they're still kind of rattly down there. They have no bushings left in them. Uh, and tires. I'm thinking about getting some new tires. These are, what are these? Two, 315 something? Yeah. What was that 315, 70, 17s? Yeah. But I want to get some 37s to put in there. So get, there's plenty of space for it. I had 37s in it before, so I want to get some 37s back in there. So that's my list of projects of what I'm thinking about doing. So tires, of course, is a big expense. That's, you know, almost two grand, somewhere in there. Fuel injection's all about two grand. Uh, doing a crossover steering in the front, that's about two grand. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what I want to do, but I, I want to do something. Uh, um, oh, and the air conditioning, of course. You know, I got the new fan, the new blower motor in there. Got to replace accumulator, evaporator, condenser, all that stuff, new lines, new air compressor would need to be new. I, I don't know if this one works. I got this out of a junkyard uh, a long time ago and put on there just to help with the serpentine belt because the old one I had locked up. So I've got this one that's just a pulley. That's really all it's doing is being a pulley. But they never made, they didn't make a 454 big block four wheel drive. I think they had a two wheel drive one. But see how this is on this on the on the passenger side, so I gotta get different lines for because other ones all come to the, over here. I mean I guess I could swap and move the alternator and stuff around. I don't know if I can do that or not. What that switch? Huh. Interesting. I don't know if I'd switch over or not. I guess it would. Let's see, because that's the same, that's back there. This might have been for a bracket that had the big air conditioner bracket on it, big AC thing, I don't know. But I want to get an upgrade alternator too. 
uh, when I get the electric fans. All this stuff will eventually happen, but it's just what order. I'm kind of thinking that Profo, this would have to go. This wouldn't, this won't work with the Profo 4, I don't think. Because the fuel rails will go, well, it might work, but that might be in the way to fuel rail too. Huh. I don't know. Uh. Huh. I mean, it really doesn't do a whole lot. I put it on there just because it's there. It was there on the stuff. Up. Oh, it kind of holds the front. I may have to do something different. I'll put a different um, intake on there. But I would like to put fuel injection on here. A self learning EFI. That'd be pretty nice. That's, um, that's hard to say. Let me get a sip of coffee here. Mm. But today's project's going to be. Getting this interior done. Oh, I still got all the radio, more interior. Uh, I got to bolt this up today and get it put in here. I got the, got the driver's side done. I love it too. Uh, I wasn't real sure if that was going to work out because it was sitting up high, but now it's just the same as this one because I lowered it down. So it works out good. Um, I need to get that done so I can build my center console. And I might move my shifter a little bit. Probably not, though. It'll probably just stay where it's at. I'm going to build me a new center console. It'll have two cup holders and whatever. Maybe a speaker facing this way. And some stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm probably going to work on this air conditioning stuff. That needs to be fixed. It's got a broken thing. i got to get up under there and mess around with it a little bit. Uh, so who knows? Maybe some interior work. Maybe I'll put up a pole and see... With the different projects, should we do Pro Flow, Pro Flow for fuel injection by Edelbrock? Should we do tires and shocks? I need shocks. I need shocks bad. That's got to be done pretty quick um, before I really drive it too far. I need to put shocks on there. But that's not too bad. That's like five hundred bucks. Don't like that. Five hundred bucks, and that's done. It's still a lot. And then the steering. I thought about putting 40s on here, but I don't think 40s is going to work. Um, you're looking at, see, this is about a 33, and maybe almost a 35, somewhere about a 34, somewhere in there. So we're looking about three more inches. It's going to be right up, <laughs> be a little bit higher, a little bit taller, quite a bit. 40s would be pretty big, so I think 37s will work. Throw me some 37s back on here. With the six inch lift, I won't have to do too much. I need to get some bump stops, the new bump stops and put in. These are, as you can see, way up there. That is that does absolutely uh oh, what happen? This does absolutely nothing. I mean it never touches. As you can tell, it never it never touches. So it lets these go right up into the field, right up into the fender. That's what broke that one. And I want to put a cold air intake too, where I can put an air box right here. I think that'd be pretty cool. Put an airbox because there's a hole right here. See the hole right there? See, I can use that and I can knock that one out because it's the same thing on this side. Right? Just take that little thing out and it's like a cold air intake. I can put a box right here. I can go to a junkyard or make something and bolt it up right here where it sits there and sits there so the air comes in from the grill through these holes right here. So it's cold air coming in. And then come up two of them, put an air box on each side, and then have a pipe that just runs up there and goes to the air cleaner. That might be pretty cool, too. So, I don't know. You can put in the comments here. Or I think I might do a poll. Uh, it's just a quick video just to see uh, what y'all would like to see. What would people like to see? I think I know I think I think know what my preference might be. I need to finish spray painting, too. <laughs> bumper turned out really nice i'm like i'm digging the black that looks a lot better that's in one of my videos too what do y'all think should the 496 ditch the 800 cfm carburetor and go with pro flow 4 multi-port fuel injection um that's some work that's some work to do for sure jack that's taking off the intake manifold pulling the distributor cleaning all this up uh antifreeze gonna go everywhere New fuel line. Oh, it's got to get a new. I guess it would have to go maybe over here somewhere or over there. Uh, I'm not sure where to mount that. 
but it's like a deal because if I put the other battery in there and then it would, I guess I could put it right here and just go with one battery I mean I've had one battery forever but uh, it's a deal that runs off your mechanical pump down here and your mechanical pump still takes fuel and pumps it into this little reservoir and that reservoir is a high pressure to provide up to 90 psi of pressure to your fuel rails on your multi-port fuel injection and anything extra just stays in the reservoir so it just keeps your fuel rails full and then pumps the rest back into the reservoir so it keeps your pressure up that way you don't have to run a return line and put an inline tank pump and all kind of weird stuff um that would be part of the deal if i did that uh, because it would just work better that way hmm i got some research to do still but let me know what you think what should we do y'all uh get rid of the jet performance carburetor and go with uh edelbrock fuel injection i could pull the headers out at the same time and repaint those i mean they still look pretty good they're still in pretty decent shape that's that uh poor 20 uh, i did the same thing on the brake fluid up there the brake fluid ate that off as it leaked out i need to put a new gasket on that cap i figured that's what it was see how it's not leaking anymore it's dry uh, but it had leaked down at one point i didn't get that on tight or something a bunch of fluid leaked out and got all over everything so i'm gonna repaint that do a little cleanup in here spray it down good uh let's go all right y'all let me know what you think i gotta get to work here in a minute start messing with that seat i've already seen that so i need to finish up the seat get that project done but we're sitting there with the 496 it would look a lot better with that edelbrock fuel injection in there and the new cold air intake hmm but it also look good with some new tires and suspension and crossover steering to hold her handle the bigger tires and then of course radiator fan air conditioning because it's not going to be comfortable driving around if the AC ain't working but we're coming into winter time so I got a little bit extra time on the AC hmm don't know what to do all right let me put a pole up or something that'll work for today we're out